Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Every day, dungeons are forced to euthanize adventurers because the cost to provide urgent or ongoing clerical health care is too high. A stray adventurer may be brought in with a broken leg, or a halfling is surrendered because it swallowed something and requires surgery that the family cannot afford. Your donation of just a few copper pieces a day can make a difference in our podcast's life and keep us making content for you. Please... Check out our Patreon site at patreon.com slash cppn to help us even if it's just a dollar a month. Every copper helps. Your support for the CPPN is greatly appreciated. Welcome back to the Lady Knights of Adventure, where last we were... The group were fighting a bunch of magmins and having a really rough time of it because they broke the magic sigil, which took down the wall. But you know what they say once you break the seal. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Hello. So it is now our dear Morgan's turn, I believe. All right. Well. The group is spread out. Kill him, Mr. Man. Kill him. Some sleeping. Some sleeping ones. Some angry ones. I trust that you will. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna attack okay? this one first. I just drank water. Down the wrong Your wife can smack you on the ass and save you. Oh, Land okay. Hand. So two, but oh, greater weapon uh, fighting. No, I didn't. Use greater weapon fighting to reroll. Five, uh, ten. A ten will not flat. hit. Yeah, seriously. That was that was sad. That was really sad. Pathetic. Mm-hmm. But uh, you. Uh, an action to it. Do you have action surge as a fighter? An action surge lets you do what exactly? Surge. Surge. Do it again. Okay, yeah. you get an extra attack. It's just, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna drink my water. Because you're ra- and which one are you attacking by the way? This one. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Do a second. Chip. Chip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aren't you? You do? Fucking stingy. I've been stingy, haven't I? Oh, I still no, have I've had it too. since like two games ago. I just haven't used it. I still have an inspiration too. Thanks. I'm glad I have 14? 14 will hit? Yay! Thank God. <laughs> As the Morgan is swinging that pole arm around all the time. Everywhere. Style, everywhere. <laughs> terrifying everyone. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> 12. 12? Oh. Okay, you swing your weapon and he explodes. Give me a deck save. Oh, no! Dex! <laughs> and don't forget you are a native yes, you one. Are. Oh. Ah. One, one. Oh god. A one? Oh. You dive on top of it. <laughs> I will save you I will my spouse. Save you. Does that uh well, you it's not a natural right? one? Well, I am a negative one. Yeah. But it's not a natural one. You can one, roll so an advantage with your chip. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now, oh. What? She got natural, natural 20. 20. Natural 20. Okay. Hell, for a natural 20, I'll say you completely avoided it. Woo-hoo. Oh, As your spouse dives on it, <laughs> that's why you take seven points of damage. He's such a smart puppy. <laughs> He's a good boy. I trained him well. Sit. All right. <laughs> so go ahead. Would you remove that from the map? Good boy, Ugo. <laughs> good boy. Good dog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Songsmith, <laughs> your friends, they're in uh, danger. Okay. But these flames flicker wickedly. Alright, um, I might for one more turn. Okay, okay. let's see right here. Hey. It is your turn to do amazing things. Absolutely amazing things. Like Bane would be a really good choice. I've just used it. Oh. Well, how many spells? Like it's memory. It's, it's spells per yes. day. It's not uses. So if you have three spells per day, your mem spells you can use three times. Oh, well then, heck yeah, I'm gonna go ahead it, and. It's uh, not like in the old fourth edition when you use that one thing, it was done. 
then uh, guess what? I'm gonna sleep you. <laughs> and you do have a spell slot free for sleep. What level is sleep? Sleep is level one. Okay, so yeah, if you have spell slots left, you can do that. Uh huh. So um, you are one hit point away from being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. never mind. Uh, you know what? Then I will just use. You know what? No, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll just do it. No, I'll do. Uh, I'll do. Uh, it's her and them. The little magic. I'll do better. Grow up together. <laughs> Sleep them and let's go further in. <laughs> let's kill them one at a time. So they are behind. Yeah, us. we can run away and just stop them. No. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, Bane on those two. On those two. Um, and since Golda didn't get to hear the song, uh-huh. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Somebody should have told you the pally's gonna own you. You ain't the biggest bad in this place. You'll be looking kinda dumb when we kick with your stupid bum and wholeheartedly kill you in your face. Hey now, you're an asshole. Take a hint. Uh, use your head. Uh, you hey now, you'll be a carcass. Give it up or drop dead. All that good is gone. <laughs> we'll be leaving your ugly corpse. <laughs> okay, so I must make a save against. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> but it's wisdom. I'm sorry, charisma. Either way, oh, <coughs> this far one does make his save. Why are you at advantage? <coughs> Disadvantage. Oh, you're right. I, I didn't make it. I got yeah. excited. <laughs> well, like, I got just a little excited. A squiz man. I rolled more than single digits there. I got kind of excited. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'll see those dust. Hey, when a guy gets more than single digits, he feels happy with himself. Okay. That one makes you. So, okay. now, they are at a uh, negative, negative four. four. Okay. As well. And I still have my bonus action. Oh, oh, thanks. You are inspiring the fighter. It's like, I believe you're good. Good dog. Good dog. (laughs) Who's a good boy? The the first (laughs) time. Who's a good boy? And Dust Wild, now that you have nothing but opponents at a good, solid, safe range, you're in your sweet spot. This is the spot that <laughs> as you move furthest away from danger as possible. This is how a dusk wild truly fights in her element. <laughs> from <Right>. a distance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try an Eldritch Blast. Which one has Bane? Uh, these both do. Those do. And technically this one as well. That but there's no sleep. That yeah. far one only has three hit points. Which, which one has three hit points? No, no, no. That one. Oh, that one. That guy doesn't. Yeah, the one that took the chance. Well, she said was... far one. So. I'm going to attack the one that has three hit points. Okay. It might work. Well, let's see. 17. A win? Oh, excellent. Yay, my first useful thing of the game session. Oh, you have had many useful things. For um, seven points of damage. You fling your bolt out and he explodes. And guess what? There's nobody Nobody there. Do you take that, you donkey ball sucker? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. And they're kind of looking around going, what? The cleric is like leaning in and... (laughs) 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 That's what we used to say in our village when we were really... Oh. <laughs> okay, but one person in the group is how can they know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought those were wolf balls. Uh, <laughs> and it is now their turn. And this guy is taking off into the distance. Ooh, he's from he's a distance. doing a leap. <laughs> okay. But running. that one is going to attack the wolf. And finally, this will be his last round of disadvantage for the flames are flickering back. But let's see what happens. And deduct. And deduct. <laughs> so we got a 14. Oh, so nice. Minus 4, plus 4. Will a 14 hit you? No. He, he reaches his little paw out. His little midget digits miss you. <laughs> midget digits. <laughs> Don't use that for 
<laughs> we laugh at you and your midget digits, <laughs> even though you've practically killed half our party. <laughs> Okay, he's very frustrated. His flames flicker back to life frustratedly. Okay, so... And I'm, like, shaking my head. What the hell lesson are we learning here? <laughs> We're going to die? What are you going to do? Rage. Um, and also, don't clump up. Yeah. How much do those don't explode for? Clump. Oh, we clump it? up. Seven points of damage Seven at least, I think. Do it all, man. Can I javelin the one next to... You can... And you have bardic inspiration. Uh, he's at disadvantage, so. Well, that doesn't mean he sucks. It's an AC that he's coming after. Oh. And you do have the bardic inspiration if you want to apply it. Oh, yeah, I need him. More than uh, six. A good number. Definitely. At more least than like a 14. Definitely or more than six. I'm not going to Okay. You throw with your mighty six, and your javelin flies past into the fire and burns up. Okay. Uh, I would suggest moving if I were you. Oh yeah. Because if she could I'm about draw to these, could draw these guys. Let you want to be outside the two is Especially if you move close and you do you, you go yeah, two hand on your weapon. Right you can go One. smash explode, smash explode. Yes, that's what I'm hoping. Okay. I thought I was close. Yeah, no, I mean if you get between them. Okay. Yeah, there you All go. Right, well, it's their turn. Yep. Well, that was the only one that gets to take a turn, so that's the oh. one that's got turn, tail, and rending. So, so it, it is actually March, uh, March take your turn, and it is your turn. Okay. Smash and kill. Would you like to move up one yes. step to be adjacent to both of them? Yes. Okay. You are definitely an advantage. It's going to be... Two it's days. a two degree. What? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, unless you roll a one, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good. So just roll. Oh. Okay, as long as it's not a one. 19. Woo! Yeah. I was hoping for 20 would be awesome. Okay, and so now I roll damage? Yep. Okay. Are you and you can both the attack for the other one. Dude, that's I thought it was a critical option. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't have to roll damage. Just, just, I said, do I have to roll damage? You said, yeah. No, you, she doesn't have to roll to attack, really, but she does have to roll damage. Oh, well then it's not. So it was not 19 points of damage. Yeah, it was it 19 was points of hitting. Hit to hit. Yeah. Okay. Two! Oh. Do you have any bonus? I have this thing. You have that thing. Well, Since we'll we just say, four, yes, right? you, you you smash and kill the first one. Okay. And you take one point of damage. And, and you take, well, <laughs> she says to do a dex save. If she doesn't do, do make a dex save. Do you want me to do a dex save? Yeah. What'd you get? Nine. Nine plus... Nine! Oh, okay, so you take, <laughs> you take three points of damage. Okay. And that's three points of damage with my... That's three points after okay. your half. Because since you didn't seven. make your save, you would have taken seven. Okay. Um, okay. Ten! Ooh. And <laughs> you smash and explode the second one. Make a dex save. Nineteen! You only take <laughs> one point of fire damage. It's almost like whoever gets this fire reduction thing was meant to come in here and do this thing. Almost. Almost. Maybe that's the lesson. Or, or do the sigil one step at a time instead of two steps. I was glad I sucked your gene to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Claire is taking her turn. She's she is covered in soot and ash. Her hair flared out in the wisps of fire. That was really impressive. <laughs> but it is now the fighter's turn. Blonde hair everywhere. Smash it. Yep. I'll win. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Are you gonna do it with your spouse right there? You have some inspiration. You nine, you can add whatever the success is. You wanna be inspiration? You wanna be inspired. Yeah. Okay, so add a 1d6. What should be some inspiration? Oh, there. Okay, so uh, 13. No, no, 14. Take your math again. That's a 14. That's a hit. Woo! Oh, and we just got the 30 minute warning. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Thank you. We might finish this room. Yes. Uh, eight. eight points of damage. You smash it with your spear. It's got a hole going through it, but it's still barely holding on to life. Oh, oh my goodness. It's heavens. almost like Faye is wanting you to retreat, risk an attack of opportunity, let Pick your spouse get out of the and way. <laughs> And then throw a javelin at him from a safe distance. 
Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of the way. Pick me up. Okay, <laughs> it is still a disadvantage. This is last turn, and we'll get a tech opportunity on you as this little fingers come after you. Let's see, bro. This little trim. Minus. <laughs> Minus. <laughs> <laughs> Will a uh, 12 hit you? And you go by and you're picking up your spouse. Yay! Yay! I don't know where we're going. <laughs> okay. Away! Away! Five away. feet away! Somewhere okay. within 30 feet. Um, you only have 30 speed, so. I have 45. 45. Oh she's shit, that's right. She's big. <laughs> big away. striding Four. steps. There we go. Alright, so After hopefully. Hopefully your friends Hello. have a plan. Song Smith, what are you gonna do? Um, what amazingly yeah, ranged um, things can you do? Uh, vicious mockery. <laughs> it's like, um, make it feel bad about here. itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your fire's so lame. You can't touch anything. You can't even let a match head. No one's your friend, and they'll never like you. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. It's like me. You couldn't <laughs> even taste. I was thinking that. <laughs> no smokes for you, baby. Okay, so it's, uh, they have to succeed on a uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. And he's still at this attention. Uh huh. His last and round. And minus? <laughs> She's okay. liking this minus. Okay, so 10 will not beat your DC, I know. So you gotta take 1d4 seconds. Ooh. Um, and you remain a demon. Yeah, Just roll the freaking damage. You're already It doesn't matter. It's yeah. Four. Roll the damage. Four. And it, it grabs its head. <laughs> and there's a whole scanner's moment where its head explodes <laughs> out of the bag. And then poof, it explodes. Uh, if we loot these guys, is there anything? What about this guy? He's, he's running. Who ran away. He's running away, but he's turning around and coming back. Is he? Yeah. Eventually. But we'll kill him. Because the there's only one of them. <laughs> when they and then explode, is there anything left behind? Mm, nope. Okay. Just soot and ash. And he's slowly coming back after a few moments. You guys have collected yourself. Are you going to posture yourself in any position in particular? Not spread. No, <laughs> not spread together. <laughs> don't, don't bunch up. As far as away. away from the... Far okay. away from him and not in so, a bunch. So put him to that, that, that fireball, that fire spot right there. Okay, I was going to be in the fire, but okay. Right, he can one. walk in the fire. Yep, that's it for his turn. Okay, so next is March. What are you going to do, March? Is it still raining? Where is that? He's coming. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's on fire there. Rain. He no, can walk in. Oh, no, the rain was that was a one shot water. deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was a oh. poof downpour and done. And he wasn't in the rain that one time. Is this wall down? The wall is down. Can I see the undead guy? You see over here. There's a flaming skull, fire that's green and flickering around his head, and it's just hovering Although there. Although he still has bane on you. him from when he was. It's just yeah, looking at all of you. It's not really reacting. It's just it's pulling a bob moment. Oh, <gasps> is he trying to bobmatize us? <laughs> that too. Great. Is it? Hold it. It's a skull. It's a flaming skull. Oh God. <laughs> if I remember correctly yes. from. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you yeah, all did bunch up on him, too, so when he did his trick, you all were bunched up. Yeah. Maybe that's this, a this, this, this was a flashback to the old Unlikely Fellowship days. Yeah, yeah when we ran into a floating, floating skull. And they surrounded it, and yeah, it made it them did. pay for it. <laughs> yes, it did. It, it took out the whole party. Yeah, pretty oh. much. Oh, yeah, that's Don't do that. Um, that's poor choices for okay. us. And it's just, it's just bobbing looking at you guys. It's not reacting in any which way. So I'm going to split my lay on hands and go okay. cat five and knee five. Okay. So you basically lay on hands. Okay. That's your turn. <laughs> All right. So this is the cleric's turn. Um, all right. Uh, it is 1d8 plus... Plus... Yeah. Her. Oh, okay. A bit four hit points. She's been okay. seriously yeah. jacked. Because I was going to do that next. So I just wanted to get the baby. Okay, off. so make sure that um, scooch you over towards the squad. Scoops. Sweetie, huh. would you scooch her towards the squad? She's, she's my spell casting ability modifier. For me, that's my wisdom, right? Yep. So three plus roll a d eight. Roll a d eight. Boom. Ooh. Ten. Ooh, 
13 you points of life flow back into you. It's Make it happen. Sweet Mama Nike. Yeah, that was a 7 plus the 3, so that's a 10. Okay. So. And that 14. Okay. Excellent. So that's. You can revitalize. That's pretty good. I'm at 12. I'll take that 2. Okay. I'm at 10. You need some. Well, then I can heal you. Okay. So oh, actually, so I'm at 9, so yes, I would push it. Yeah. I'll heal you. It's for so the same thing. Oh, it would be, I would have to roll the it, it is basically. our resident Morgan's turn. Fire dude's running back at you guys. Uh, He's going, ah, 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 ah. can you throw anything? I can, but I probably could, but I got something hey, better to do. Cross-eyed, crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> cross-eyed, crossbow. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay, so you're throwing your javelin? Crossbow. Oh, crossbow, sorry. Mm-hmm. You're, sh- you're pulling the crossbow, you're actually lining up the sides, it's like, and it just, just lines up right between the goal posts, and you pull your arrow, and it flies out and does hit. Oh, it slides me. Three. Three points of damage. Okay. Thwick! It crossbow bolt goes into his arm, you see the bolts are burning up on his skin, touching his skin. Mm-hmm. And he's going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's not it's not happy at all right now. Okay, Songsmith, it is your turn. Uh, I am going to uh, cure wounds on uh, the healer. Okay. Yay. Healer, get healed uh, by I'm, some other self. So uh, let's see here. That's um, why we have the healing love circle. <laughs> okay, so 1d8. Get three points back. Hey, it's three points. Hey, if we can take a rest, I can heal you for more. But she's still immune to fire. <laughs> if, we, if we do a short rest, it's I can do, uh, I can heal everybody a little more. How long is the fire immune to It's an hour. So that's good. Yeah, we're good. Death Protection squad. for fire for an hour. Um, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> You know what I have to say to you, donkey ball sucker? <laughs> That's what I have to say to you. I'm going to That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the Lady Knights of Adventure. Because we're classy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she might laugh. With a key. Woo! <laughs> it's like crab. <laughs> Instead of a Y at the end, it's two E's. <laughs> so 15. That will hit. Right. So which spell are you lancing out? <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay, you're bl- you, you. For um, six points of damage. And when you do, your blast lances out, hits, literally wafts apart the fire he's standing in, hits him square in the chest, and he exploded. He exploded all over the place. Right where he stands, without <laughs> hitting any of us. Balls. <laughs> it was the donkey balls. You know what? You put donkey balls in someone's mouth, <laughs> they and they just they stop <laughs> the oysters. <laughs> donkey oysters. <laughs> okay, we get right in the wave of rancheros. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right, now I know there's this like. Flamey skull looking There's at a us. Flame and skull, and it's just looking at you. But can we take a short break? What do we and do with <coughs> flaming skulls? We take a short break. Do we Arcana something? No. Well, there, there's there's all kinds of. We areas. send you in first. Is what we do. <laughs> I don't have protection against flaming skulls. There, there's horrible things I can say that you do with flaming skull. They're all horribly inappropriate. <laughs> Really? Are you as inappropriate as donkey balls? Oh, they're (laughs) far more inappropriate. Well, then it might be inappropriate. Um, But no, you have at least protection against fire. All I can think of is (laughs) Scooby Doo. (laughs) Are you scratching or are you. It hurts. What would the other option be, Justin? <laughs> the other option was she was putting her head down on oh, the table awesome. in just sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought this was the same case. Yeah, I'm like, like, like yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was this is say what that it looks next. like if that helps. He is oh. a Scooby Doo thing. Right? He's oh. Bob without the nose. He's like a little aviator. He's Bob without the nose. Right? Yeah. Even has the orange glowy eyes. 
Oh, By the oh. way, I finished changes today. <gasps> oh my god, Dresden changes Files changes. Oh crazy. my god. I, it when took she, me forever to read that one. When oh. She, oh, I know. And but when she got to it, I was like, she, we were on a car ride, and I'm like, changes? Oh my god, motherfucking changes? <gasps> There's so many changes and fucking changes? Right. I yeah. know, oh my god. Really now, good. anyone listening, go watch Dres- Go read the Dresden Files. Oh my if god, you haven't awesome. already. And just, you know, treat the television show as a completely different Creature. Yeah. It's not the same. I Different really liked the show. Actually, it's yeah, I liked it, but I mean, you could just yeah. kind of see but it. But the just, show was just like... a B graded version of Dresden Files. I mean, it was just not the books. Yeah, it wasn't the Blue yeah. Beetle, mm-hmm. you know. And Dresden is and never like goods and ladies in the books. He gets diamond eyes. He's a witch? No, this is the upgraded version. He said it was he's not as scary, though. No, he's not, but he's level 18. Yeah, well, Looks that's like scary. he has like these little tiny hands, and he's like, <laughs> you know what? I'm like, he has a little tiny body. <laughs> I'm level like, two. I don't want to go against a level eighteen to like no. this ball with diamonds. Okay, okay. so are okay. we able to take a short run, uh, rest? Do you for... wish to try to take a short yes. rest? No, I think yes. We... Okay. How long of a short rest are we taking? How long do we need? Um, every storm? Fifteen minutes. Yeah, because I just because it, it require my spell requires a short rest. Okay, so you guys are sitting there looking at the skull that's sitting there looking at you. Yes. Yes. And, and, and it's just in, in honor of this room. It's like, oh doctor, doctor, can't you see I'm burning, burning? <laughs> <laughs> doctor, doctor, she, she's using. Love I she, she's okay. using a new trick she got as a bard. <laughs> yes, that is Song of Rest. So since you're taking a short rest, you can use, you can spend any of your hit points that you'd like to heal. Uh-huh. And so on your top hit dice. of that, um, we yeah. get well, a... What is your hit dice? Yeah. My hit dice? Oh, is it oh. these kinds of my yep. alley? So you can spend a hit dice to heal no, wait, during a short rest. But also, oh, what is the hit dice thing? Yes, what's that's... The, oh. What's oh. the penalty? But, no, no penalty. Oh. It's, but... But the bard is giving you, you extra. Get six points back. So if you oh, nice. so, so if you'd rest. like to spend one of your hit points, which by the way that pool doesn't reset until you take a long rest, you can roll one of those dice to get that much plus the d6 she's giving back with your. Do I get top. more than maximum? Of that? No. See, I'm gonna hold on. Just go straight to max. Right. Oh, so we get how much? Six. Oh, well, if you good. want, if you're already healed up, you, you may want to save that for later. No, no she just gave you six. Oh, yeah. I gave so you just gave you six. You might as well I'm at 18 out of 20, so I'm like just. I'm at uh, 18 out of 17, so I'm good. I'm just gonna go like. I'm at full. Yeah, 24. Okay, so you guys are taking short rest, looking at the floating skull. (laughs) It's looking at you, looking at it, and and, and you notice off in the distance, there's these these ploofs of smoke and sulfur and stuff going down the area. And all of a sudden, now that the flame wall is not there, you do notice that the path goes behind the skull. There's another one of those floating ruins, and then it's just burning ground. And then there's a path that takes it afterwards. Like about 20 feet past. It's got a lot of fun. And there is a gentleman in red robes. You can't see much details wise about him. So but one he gentleman seems or two hobbits? It looks like one gentleman doing this like whole <laughs> magic-y, magic thing because he's waving his hands and there's a, the same color glow that's around the rips, sealing the rips. And he's doing this magic-y, magic thing. Can I see and if he's you can, check? you can give me a arcana check and a and a, yeah arcana check. They'll say it's close enough that you can see. It. Well, we already know Ooh, he's undead. Natural twenty. You believe that what this guy is doing is basically it's he's casting a spell on something in front of him. You can't see it because of the distance, but it seems to be yes, he's the one maintaining those portals being shut. Don't so we don't be covered. Oh, so, so he's a good guy, yeah. but he's undead. He might, no, he's no, un- the skull un- is undead. Yeah. There's a wizard oh, further wizard. down oh. that's doing some kind of magic magic thing. Okay. That's so golden thing. Stands under I'm stealing golden lines. Magic. Yeah, I only really know what it is. <laughs> we're not going to ask. But Mark said to leave him the F alone, so we're not going to yeah. touch him. No. <laughs> no. no. Her natural 20 said he's not short. What's that? <laughs> the, yeah, the wizard, but not the short. It's long. So you still have the crackling energy. Yeah, you basically have this weird... I'm getting feedback from this crackling bad mojo here. Um, so, but are we going to go after the skull? How far away is Sophie? The wizard is, like, we're talking like 200 feet oh, down okay. the way. Like He's far he's away. Okay. He's off the map. Yeah. So, we probably don't have any left. 
Yeah. Now, we might want to pick up our journey of attacking the skull on our next, you know, big adventure. But does someone want to talk to the skull? Oh, can, can we, we talk about persuade the skull? Let's have a conversation. I have a six in persuasion. I think you, <laughs> yes, you go, go should talk go to Go for it. Us. You're cute, you're fuzzy, you're adorable. You're, gonna just, you're oh, just gonna oh. hop up to him. 21. I see the way it is. You don't want to associate with the demon, but an undead floating skull is totally cool me. in your church. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So, so March is gonna march right out there up to the flaming skull. What are we even doing in this room? No skull. <laughs> well, we're, we're learning a lesson. Out, yes. I'm gonna persuade him to tell me if he knows where the key is or how to get it. The key. <laughs> flaming skull is just sitting there looking at you about normal person shoulder level and kind of tilts as you're walking. As you're walking up, it's tilting down to, to She's make like, it looks so small from it. It's small when it gets close to. <laughs> it's always small. As soon as you start talking, it just says, you have passed the test of fire. You are a good student of the master. Speak the phrase and pass. Oh, shit. Who has the piece of paper? Um, you do. Read it. What? <laughs> I have a piece of paper. No, the little piece of paper with the, the key on it. The phrase? No? He, he gave us something with the phrase that pays. Oh, well. It did not come to me. Hold on. Because uh, I got none of that kind of knowledge. I, All I have is this piece of paper. So and instead, were... you say something amazingly charismatic to get the, the, the skull talking. What do you say? Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he basically looks at you as the, the flames in the eyes kind of like pin down a little, little pin pricks. <laughs> Are you supposed to be here? Yes. Are you? <laughs> the master has tasked me with being the threshold guardian of the challenge of fire. You have passed the first test. I, I don't have the. Yeah. It's not right on it. Where are we given a piece of paper with a phrase? Not really. I don't think so. I thought there was something. Oh there, there was something, but not particularly the one for this room. Oh, okay. But he, he, he can. Obviously, if you have passed the test. He gave us the gems to get in here. <laughs> He was in prison. I don't know how I am. Don't distract me when I'm talking to the flaming skull, baby. <laughs> She's getting her mojo. The master gave us the gems. Mm. He was so distracted. You may pass. And he kind of like turns his head sideways and turns. Continue to the next test. One more test. Excellent. And my friends too, right? Hey, we all pass together. It's like Ames testing, it never ends. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, he, you see it, it's, it, he's starting to balk at the, you know, it's only supposed to be one student at a time to test. But then you, you with your amazing role for, for you know, persuasion, persuasion you, what, what, what argument are you going to make she she hit the wall of the fridge? <laughs> or it was her super subtle way of saying 15 minutes without saying it. What is your super subtle way for getting to her to, to persuade to allow the flaming school to allow your entire party pass? They're my students. You must be wise indeed. <laughs> Don't touch him. <laughs> I wish you luck in the next test. Any, t any tips? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to work it like Do Dr. not Walls. fail and join the remains of those who have. Any tips? Don't spit in the wind, you <laughs> young, <laughs> young rabbit. Okay, so so what are you gonna do to gesture your friends to join? Like, no, just go. <laughs> just okay, go. you're so, so you're, you're our teacher. <laughs> you're waving your your friends along. Damn, I've got a random encounter thing going here, and nothing's been coming up for good days. <laughs> I need to roll lower than ten for my chart. Okay, so you're waving the group as you're all yeah. passing the skull. Now I'm gonna be like, don't touch him. Because me, I'm going to leave him be. I'll sure. guard your guys' back. Sorry, baby. And of course, fire. Fire. There's another arcane that sigil. That is miraculous. Did you draw that on purpose? We <laughs> <laughs> had the donkey balls. <laughs> you know, wow. donkey balls would be much.
much larger. <laughs> it would be more of a. <laughs> I mean, I've never looked at donkeys. Like, so you... those are rat balls. That's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently it is late night and too much of the Ethiopian cuisine we had earlier is getting close. I actually so, play in Phoenix Comic Con and uh, eat stroke. So, <laughs> hey, let's put it this way. You're raining springs. I spent a week in the desert in the lean to with no way of cooling off. I was, we just learned to not bulk up. <laughs> I was more comfortable in the desert in a lean to than I was in Phoenix Comic Con outside. The weather was brutal, but it was a great convention. And by the way, thank you for reminding me. Give me a constitution save, all of you. What? If you're wearing heavy, medium, or heavy armor, you're at a disadvantage for the oppressive heat. I'm, I'm in light armor. Even though Same. I have heat. Coincidence. If you have heat, you're at advantage, which means it's just straight roll. What about if I wear just a robe? Am I straight roll? Then you are straight roll. Natural 20! <laughs> I rolled a natural 20. Is it a constitution, you said? It's a constitution, yeah. <laughs> All right, 16. I'm walking through here like, okay. what heat? You rolled a Boom. five. Uh. Like a bot. Oh, well, you I come from a desert climate. So, so all of you are good. You are forged in the fire. the poor warrior who I apparently lacks so. sweat glands. <laughs> so you have dropped... So he's like... <laughs> you have dropped one step on the exhaustion chart from the weather. What's that mean? It basically oh, means... Obi-Wan. We, we are going to whip out the exhaustion. Thank you. So, oh, we need to close out. the first yeah. step for exhaustion, are you close out, baby? Yeah. Okay. The first step is that you are at disadvantage on ability checks. Oh, no. The second oh, step is that speed is halved. Oh, uh, basically, so you move the same so. speed as your wife. <laughs> basically, you want to get out of these conditions to uh, alleviate, the, you know, take a, a long rest, get out of the, the, the exhaustion. Oh, what was... So, so you're at disadvantage. No, no, no. That's if you were gonna fail the next one. Oh. Okay. So you're only at disadvantage for pretty much every roll. <laughs> oh, only. 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 No big deal. I couldn't take the speed instead. No, the speed is next. Okay. So you guys get. Wait. What did you have to roll the same part? A constitution save. But what was? Did he need to pass? He needed a ten. Oh, okay. I was twelve. Yeah, you were all. You were all good. I was Except excited about the twenty, wording. but I rolled, rolled a guys. five. It's because Morgan apparently lacks sweat glands. Oh, poor Morgan. So when you get to the next symbol, no, for a fact that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so only certain parts have sweat glands. <laughs> well then. So when you get to the next arcane symbol, don't touch it. What? what? <laughs> I didn't ever touch it. I recommended that other people check on it, and they touched it to check on it. Okay, so let's see if anything on the random encounter chart happens. Oh, natural 20. What does that mean? That means natural absolutely die. nothing. My, my Do you bad. want this chip back? No, you oh, you want to roll low? Yeah, for, for my random encounter chart, everything between less than 10 is something happens. Ooh. So uh, unless I roll poorly... I don't get to screw with you anymore. Or at least until someone starts poking the room. Oh. So, is someone going to want to poke the room? Not at oh, the room. Not me. Me. Not. Is someone going to attempt to break the next arcane sigil that you're at? Gola. <clears throat> we'll all back up and let Golda poke the room when you she's ready. Picture. When she's ready? Before. Yeah, yes. I would definitely, uh, yeah. for Hero Forge, I would definitely yeah, write those out. I, I specifically ordered this because of the durability. Yeah, because you paid extra for the more durable be, plastic. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be higher durability, and I waited two months to get and a it piece broke before I could even use it. Before even yeah. gained it. And the arms freaking broke off. Yeah, because that's crap. Both of them. If you hear us, Hero Forge, taking it out of we the are shaming bag. you into to, to taking care of our girl here. So sad. So when Golda gets back, we'll ask her if she wants to tamper with the room, but I think everyone's picking their stuff up. Uh, Golda can touch it. Let's just say Golda touched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, you'd be happy to know I threw the 
the bard patch and the uh, coat of D&D stuff. So, so we have your bard patch and your bard patch. What happened? I don't know. So you've made it to the next room. Okay. Are we packing up or would you like to poke it? Otherwise, poke I'll it, poke, poke it. Poke it. I'll poke it. You're going to poke it with your arcana? Uh-huh. Okay, let me leave out a d20 real quick so I can get some horrible to you if something goes wrong. Give me an arcana check. I'm surprised nobody's tried to assist to get someone advantage. Can you do that? You what can do that. Uh, I do that. I do that. 11. 11. You reach up and she tweaks the room with her arcane skills. Because the mood just struck me funny. <laughs> A five. Ooh. And by the way, the entire group left. Her, her, how far back did you guys get from her? Uh, you know, I'm like in the middle of the hallway because I'm keeping an eye on the flaming. You mean like the hallway. corridor of yeah. fire? Okay, so you guys went back more than 40 feet? Sure. <laughs> okay, when she, tweaked, when she tweaked that, all of a sudden... Where you're standing in the 20 foot area around you, I have to touch it, I burning to. cinders start falling down, singeing you for four points of fire damage. <coughs> I'm going to say I'm going to Okay. Yes. So. I'm assuming you're going to use your move to get out of the rain of fire. Uh, yeah. Okay. You back out in the rain of fire and it continues burning for about three minutes. And after that, the rain of fire has subsided. I'm like, don't touch it. <laughs> Are you going to try to tweak the rune again after that? Me? No. no. Golda will. Well, the rune shrunk. I mean, they got the fire immunity. Yeah, but I have no arcane abilities. Her arcana skills poor. She is, she's a cleric. My arcana is zero. Her religion ability is good. Yeah. You reach out and touch face. <laughs> Okay, so when we get back next, we will find out what breaking the, or not breaking, the last room will cause. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. took four points of damage. Here in the force of Alandril, we elves defend the woods from beasts and men. I myself have helped drive off goblin raiders, slain a giant spider, and composed an elven symphony for the Blood Moon Harvest Festival. And that was before lunch. So when I'm not sliding down the trunk of a barbarian elephant beast after killing it and its occupants with only my dagger and a few arrows, I look forward to coming home to a Dungeon Crate. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service crafted specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handmade items, RPG jewelry and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. As an elf, I appreciate quality craftsmanship and Dungeon Crate delivers, even if it's put together by humans. Sir, sentries have discovered several dwarves and a wizard trespassing in our woods. I was wondering what that smell was. DungeonCrate.com. Are you ready? Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Hey gamers, Jim here from Creative Play and Podcast Network. If you're in the Tucson area this September and October, I've got a special message for you. Hey, this is Karen from RinCon. We are having our convention from September 30th through October 2nd here in Tucson, Arizona. Come out and uh, play every kind of game under the sun with us. We've got role-playing, board games, minifigs, um, CCGs. We've got Artemis. We have panels with special guests. And this year, the theme is steampunk. So uh, get out your uh, dust off your dirigibles, get out your chapeaus, and put them on. Come on down. That's right, and then you'll roll better. But I got better. You got better. I'm not dead yet. That's right. We're close. Wait. Oh, do you also need some loving? Uh, not yet, but I will. Okay, because I, I, I can still slap your ass.
That's for 10 hit points. Yes. And I'm far away from you, but I can give you 1d4 plus... Hey, how do I know what my spell casting level is? Like, where do I find that on my sheet? I it should looking. be on the second sheet of the spells. And I can still compel a duel, but I'd rather there's I'd smite that. My second sheet might be different than your second sheet because there's, there's nothing on here that matches what she has. Do you have a sheet that what has your spells? Here? Where do you have your spells? Using proficiency plus I don't. I have the oh, lore. you don't. Okay, uh, like so let me get you the numbers real quick. Okay, okay tell me next. how to make them so that I can... Five different things? No, if anything changes, I can do better. Okay. Let's get no, to the cleric and cleric section. No, no, okay, so for cleric, then it's just your cleric stuff. Okay, hold okay, okay, so okay, so okay, please, please. And I will go to my cleric stuff. Okay, so it's on page 58. So it's proficiency plus That's my health healthy stuff. So plus your d20. Is this for me? And then when it's the attack, it's just your hit Oh, it's up on top plus the mod. That one is not as helpful. Like it's hard because it's not as. So when you roll your d20, uh-huh. like I want to try to attack him. Right. Of course. Thanks for new okay. twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so then she I got have the good roll. <laughs> 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 there goes stuff. the natural twenty. So then it's your natural twenty, okay, which so doesn't fucking um, matter anyway. This page. But then it's, it's right your proficiency here. too. Plus so your, your spell DC, so which is the difficulty yeah. they have to roll, is so eight I'm plus your proficiency, which is three right now, plus your your wisdom modifier. Right. So that my wisdom is. Three. See, what I, so, like, when you attack me with a spell that has eight, to do with save? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, so 13. So, if you attack me with a spell that says oh, make a wisdom save, 13 is the magic number I have to do. But then, if I have an extra. The next one, which is your attack bonus, spell save. Your spell DC. Hey, here. If I'm saving something? DC. Yeah. Okay. Because and then the other one is if you're doing stuff that attacks. Weapon. Like at one point you'll get a, there's a spiritual so weapon one like that uses heart? that bonus, which is your uses proficiency bonus so and your wisdom bonus. So it's two plus three. 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 So that's five. So you're plus five to attack with just raw spells. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, okay. I just want to get some range on shit. You get two to grow on these. Oh, you can just awesome. kill them out, right? Yeah. Just let her back up and let her back. Yeah, I, yeah if I could just like get into a corner. Well, you're ahead of me from everything mm-hmm. else. Arch. Yep. You're ahead of me, so you can get the shit away. Well, I was <laughs> javeling that guy over there. Oh, okay. I just haven't been yeah. able to well, get I'll away. start with the one that's the flying guy on his side. Because okay. he's more than ten away from you, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll start with him. Just so okay, you know. So ready? Ready? Yeah. Steady. Click. This is going to be our dear warden's turn first. Oh! Alrighty. Okay, welcome Pretty back cool. to D&D, G- D&D Journey of 5th Edition. <laughs> well, I got D&D Journey of 5th Edition. Will you stop? Brain. It's Saturday. Do you well, look, look around the table. What do you see? I see lady. gold. I see gold. The gold is the thing. You it's see gold. ladies. Gold is the night of <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's boring because Golda likes to know. <laughs> but what does she do after? Juan's night of adventure might be fun. Golda's night of adventure is all <laughs> napping. 